Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to create film rolling credit in Dungeon Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page and the first thing we want to do is here bringing a fusion composition in our timeline. Then we're just going to extend that fusion composition to be whatever length we need our end credit to be. Don't worry if you don't know how long it should be, we're going to come back and adjust that later on because it will just vary depending on the speed you want your credit to roll at and also the length of the credit themselves. But right now, let's just move on to Fusion. In Fusion, the first thing I want to do is here bring a new background and link the output of that background to the media out. Then I'm going to reduce the alpha channel down to zero to gain transparency. And we're going to go over to Image here to untick auto resolution and increase the height to the maximum. Right now, we're basically setting a vertical canvas to create our credit. And we're just going to make an animation then with a transform node that we're going to displace from top to bottom. Now, the first thing we want to do is here bring a new text node and link the output of that text node to the background one. In my first text, I'm simply going to write the role that the person had creating the movie. So here I'm just going to go, for example, with art director for the first one. Then here I'm going to switch the font from Time New Roman and I'm going to switch from bold to regular. Here for the size, I'm going to go with 0 0.025. Now with that current canvas, we cannot see much because the text right now is way too small. So we're going to just create the final view. I'm just going to bring a new background. And then here, we're just going to link the output of the merge two to that background two. And then here, we're going to link the output of the merge to the media out. Then I'm going to select my merge two, it shift space, and I'm going to bring a transform node. So now basically I'm seeing the final version, which is a HD or 4K format, all right? So here, if I bring the view for this canvas and for the final one, so now if I'm bringing just the two canvas side by side, as you can see, this is the final version, and this is where we're creating the entire rolling credit layout. And then only what we're doing is with that transform, we're just gonna move over that across the frame, and that's just gonna act as a rolling credit. So we're just gonna animate it from the bottom to the top, and then the layout, we're gonna slowly scroll through our final frame and then just get out at the top. And that's gonna create our rolling credit effect. I hope that's clarifying how it works. Now let's just move on with creating the design. So actually here, my text is a bit too small, so I'm gonna increase it a little bit. Maybe we should go at 0.03. Then we're going to add multiple role within that text. So for example, here I could just hit space and add another role like camera operator, for example. But as you can see, whenever I add a line, it just moves all text up. We don't want that. We want to justify and anchor our text properly. So I'm going to V anchor that to the top by bringing the slider here down to top. So now whenever we're making a space to just create a new role, all text doesn't move around. Now we want to do the same thing here with the H anchor and anchor it to the right. So all text stay aligned to the right. If we were to add any other stuff after that, it will not displace it from the center, but displace it from the right and everything will stay aligned on that imaginary vertical line. Now, another thing to consider is the line spacing. So here, just to represent it better, I'm just gonna create another role. We're gonna go with steady cam operator. And now we can go over to the line spacing and we can just increase the space between uh, each line. So generally with any design, it's nice to just leave a bit of space between things uh, to let the design breathe. So right now I'm going to go with 1.6 for the spacing. Now we're going to bring a second text to create the name after those roles. So here I'm going to link the output of that text to the merge two, and I'm going to write that name in all caps. So for example, here, Tony Rivetti. I'm going to change the font again for Time New Roman and I'm gonna leave it as bold. I'm gonna change the size for the same size as our rolls. So here that's gonna be 0.03. And then here we're gonna do the same thing by adjusting the V anchor to the top. And now it's gonna be on the exact same line. And we're gonna avoid having the text being displaced whenever we just uh, create a new line. Right now let's just create the two other names. So Marie Stevenson and Pierre Dulay. For the line spacing, we're going to do the exact same spacing. So 1.6. So 
So we keep everything aligned on the same line. And just here, instead of doing the anchor to the right, this time we're gonna do the anchor to the left. So if we were to add anything, you know, after the name, everything just stay again aligned to that vertical line, but this time on the left side. Now let's just right click on all viewer and bring the guide, show guide. And then we're just gonna take the text and move it slightly to the right. And we're gonna do the same thing with the text one and move it slightly to the left, just to make a bit of gap between the two. I'm gonna right click again on the viewer and remove my guide again. And I'm just gonna continue to fill that up with more roles and more names, just to fill up a bit more of the screen, but I'm quickly gonna speed that up so you don't have to sit through it. Now to easily move the text around, you can simply select the two texts the two merge and then hold shift and drag all those nodes out of the composition and then you can relink them here by linking the merge to the background then linking the output of that background to the first merge just so they have a canvas and then here we can select the merge to it shifts based on our keyboard and search for transform node and bring that in now we can freely move that block of text around as we wish so right now we can just select or transform in the viewer click on fit and now we can just drag that all the way to the top now you can continue to expand on those two texts but if you want to create a new block you can simply copy whatever you just created right now and then paste it and modify it so here copy the transform the merge the text just copy them paste them down the line and then here you can just link the output of the transform to the merge again link the output of that background to the first merge and now you can just move around with the transform so right now we're just going to drag that down and that way you could create a different section for different department like the camera department the set design uh, the makeup etc another thing you can do if you wish is bringing bts photos or video of the movie so here just bring whatever media you want to insert it can be video and photo or any other graphic design that you want to include then link the output of that to the merge then select your media, it shifts space on your keyboard and bring a new transform node. And now you can just displace that as you want. So here we're just gonna drag it down a little bit. Now I'm gonna share with you in a second how to do the scrolling animation, but first I'm just gonna add a bit more text and finish that layout. All right, so I've just added a bit more text. Uh, feel free to add some logo if you add some logo to add or more BTS shoot, etc. So once you're done and happy with your layout, you can move over and make the animation on the scrolling. To do that, I'm just gonna bring here back my media out. As you can see, when we're switching between the two here, between the transform and the media out, what we're doing with that background is simply bringing it back to a HD format. And now with the transform, what we're doing, with simply um, just animating that scrolling passing by within that frame, all right? So now we're simply gonna go at frame zero and here we're just gonna drag the credit down at the bottom so it's not in frame. We're gonna drop a keyframe here on the center and then we're gonna go at the end of our composition and we're gonna drag the text just through the frame until we're done with it. So here we go. Now if we play it, we can see that it's playing at a pretty good speed. I think I'm happy with that. It's uh, not too slow, not too quick, uh, and it's working fairly good. Now what if you wanted to make it quicker or slower? You can go over to your spline editor, and then here you can just click transform, zoom to fit, and here you can simply adjust the end point. So if you want to make it quicker, just hold shift on your keyboard, select your point and bring it back to the left. That will make the scrolling quicker because we have less time between the moment that it's at the bottom and the moment where it's at the top. So now if we play it again, as you can see, it's just a lot quicker. We could try to make it even quicker by dragging it over there. And now if you want to make it slower, it will be the opposite. So here just continue to drag it on the right side and it will just make it slower. Now, however, one thing to note is that our fusion composition is limited. So you will have to go back to the edit page and then extend your fusion composition to give it the space here to continue to scroll. Another thing to take into account is that as you can see here, now our video is not appearing anymore. 
because the video wasn't long enough, it wasn't 40 seconds. So you want to adjust the timing of that video right here in the media to appear at the right time. So either you loop it by selecting the media in and click loop, and now the video will simply loop over and over again. Or if you want it to start at uh, an exact time, you can simply go to wherever frame you want the video to start. So here in our case, we're gonna go at 650 and we're just gonna drag the global in at 650. So the video is gonna start at that time. In that case, a bit earlier, 600. And then here, all the last frame, you want no frame to be old. So you're just gonna set that to zero. And here, make sure that it's the entire clip. So we're gonna put the in at zero and out to whatever lens uh, it's set by default. And now if you play it, you'll have your video playing at the right time. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in a comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.